All right guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's like 11.30 right now. We're about to head off to the gym. We're just doing some stretching and just really making sure that everything's loosened up. This is the second workout of the day. We trained shoulders and arms earlier. Now we're gonna go train legs. Get right into the training. Uh, we'll meet you at the gym. Peace. Just gonna warm up a little bit this. Make sure my joints are warm before we go and do some squats. Probably gonna start with the compound movements and then after that we'll just move to more isolation, hitting quad, hamstring specific parts of it too. Huh? What's the game plan? We're gonna start, start here with the squat. Heavier lift so that we can get as much muscle damage done as we can. And then after that, we're gonna go downstairs or maybe even up here, there's some isolation movements that we wanna do and then switch over to hamstrings. We'll see when we get there, but Feels good right now. on my next set and then as we progress through like low get to our heavy weight do a couple sets of that and then come back down where we can really feel a squeeze in the quads and keep tension the whole time we're gonna go since we drop the weight we're gonna go up to like 15 reps we do a little bit higher higher volume whereas in the other sets we we're aiming for like eight eight to ten maybe but that's with a heavier weight so now we're dropping it back down and getting really Really into the mind muscle connection, full stretch. And get like that blood flow back in there. Right? Yeah, before we move on to other exercises where I'm really gonna pump up our quads. So just like the, the squats we did with the top one motion, we're squeezing through all the way through the top. And the misconception that people are locking out their locking out their knees rather than fully flexing the quad because you can lock your knee without flexing your quad. When you flex your quad, it keeps the pressure on that rather than putting on the joint. So that's what we're doing here, and that's what we did on the squat too. And I'm out of breath. Getting a little bit more rest today. I mean, I trained earlier, but now that we're back here and we're exhausted, our CNS is really exhausted, take a little bit more rest and allow the blood to flush through because we're not just going for really, 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 really heavy weight or anything like that. We're trying to get the blood into the, into the muscle and oxygen into the cells. So that's why we're taking a little bit more rest and allowing the muscle to really pump up. You're pretty hamstring dominant already, right? But your quads are also really tight. Everything's tight. So I, my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads, my erectors. Literally everything is tight. I can just stretch out more and then it'll allow me to get full range. Probably left heavier than I am right now, but. When we're doing exercises like this, we're really trying to focus on squeezing the quad because after, after we did the squats, now we're trying to focus on isolation and squeezing all the way into our upper upper quad until the rectus femoris. And that's where you want to squeeze. That gives like the full look and it takes tension off the knees so when you're going all the way down and you're getting that full range of motion it's still not putting a lot of pressure on your knee joint and there's no risk of injury What's good about this 
gym is that we have all of our leg equipment together and it's all kind of grouped together. So here we have two different hamstring exercises that we're gonna use to really pump up the hamstrings quickly and hit the fast switch muscle fibers by going back and forth in a, what they call superset. We're gonna be doing lying hamstring curls, superset it with uh, one leg, single leg kneeling leg curl with the machine. And then uh, that'll be our last exercise of the day. We're just doing like higher volume and then just doing uh, less exercises, doing more of each exercise and focusing on building that mind-muscle connection. Because it is single leg and not both legs, each time that you go back from that to this, start with the opposite leg as the one that you started with from your last set, just so that we balance it out rather than working one leg more, keeping the tension on one leg more than the other, we're just gonna switch it each time. I just wanna let you guys know if you guys didn't recognize it already throughout the video, I've been uh, changing. I started off with the hoodie and then I turned to the t-shirt and then I went to this. These are gonna be our new drops. You're gonna be dropping them sometime Sometime next week, maybe, I'm not sure, that, that, but definitely this month. Um, if you guys are excited, then you can uh, follow us on Instagram. It's at, just at Clyde Crew, C-L-A-D-C-R-E-W. And then check us out, follow us for all the updates. We're going to be posting some more on exactly when the drop will be. And I'll definitely let you guys know so that you guys can pick it up pretty quick before it all sells out. Okay, so the reason why uh, I, uh, we, myself and my brothers decided to choose this sort of tank off, this sort of like cut off, because it's really lightweight and uh, when we're training a lot of times like it gets super hot and sweaty and it's just annoying so when I'm when I'm training I like to have something that's light whereas I can layer onto it with anything like a sweater or a t-shirt and then take that off as I get through my workout when I get hotter. Hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned a little bit more about how I train my legs and how I like to isolate certain muscles. Um, click the like button make sure you guys subscribe to the channel I'll be posting more content and I have some exciting things coming with soccer I'm going to be moving to another country overseas, so you'll definitely be seeing some vlogs, some some of that style of video when we get over there. And uh, I'll I'll let you guys just stay tuned. I'll let you guys know where I'm going. Just stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.